First stop today is the Goodwill on Shawnee Mission Parkway in Shawnee, Kansas. There is a decent amount of decor here at this Goodwill. Prices in Kansas City are going to be higher than they are in Topeka, so I need to be mindful and make sure I'm not spending too much. First find was that fire stoker, and for $2.99, I went ahead and grabbed that adorable duck. Now at $7.99, I passed on the Iron Cross. Even though they sell well, this one didn't even have hanging hardware. And these pillars were gorgeous. They were really heavy though. I'm afraid they were easily breakable and like $15 a piece. So we move on, find a bell reasonably for $1.99. This board was $5. I was standing here saying I shouldn't pay that much for it, but in the cart it went. The colors were so unique, I decided I'd probably keep it for myself. This little patinaed sugar dish was adorable, but it was also $5. Too expensive. I was hoping to find another one of these little galvanized stocking holders, but I didn't, so that one went back on the shelf as well. I found another Bless This Home pewter plate. I always like to check the prices on those for a baseline of what the other prices might be at a Goodwill. These wooden bowls are great individual sellers for me, but at $5.99 each, no way I could pick them up. This Aries coffee mug only had two words, ambitious and rebellious. Eh, they weren't lying, but I left it behind anyway. I'm an Aries if you didn't know that. This plate was very pretty. I don't pick up a lot of silver, but I do like to admire it at least while I'm in the store. Noritake salt and pepper shakers at $6.99. These retail about mm, 25 or so on eBay right now. I don't sell dishes, not really in my market, so I left them, but I did spot this magnolia stoneware, a creamer, and sugar. Now it is missing the spoon here, but I can get a replacement for that easily enough. So I did go ahead and pick these up, $7 on the set. An olive. Ooh, I'll love it. I'll love it. <laughs> well, I've never seen an olive dish like that. I did find this collection online, but it looks slightly different, and I'm just not seeing the same shape, so I need to do a little more research. Drop me a comment below if you know anything about the silver dish with the olive leaf on it. I thought this little wall hanger was pretty, eh, a little pricey for what it was, and the shape was a little off, so I did pass. These miniature cheese boxes always sell well for me. These are a great size, a little bit larger than my hand. I went ahead and picked them up for the new JRV rice paper. And then I walked back to the furniture section and these were the first things I spotted. Beautiful, adjustable wreath holders, I do believe. I literally said I was going to stop buying these this morning, but this one has the two bunnies. And now we head to City Thrift. They actually had a sale that day, $10 off if you spent $35, which of course I did. Stopping by the little vintage section, first thing I'm spotting is this beautiful black scale. And then I hit the bag wall, my second favorite spot, and spot all of these rolling pins, which I also said I was going to quit buying, but I couldn't help myself. These shelves are always absolutely packed. Again, pricing is higher here, so I really have to watch myself or my bill will get out of control. But there are so many items that if you take the time to go through them, you can find things at a reasonable price. There is always plenty to choose from. I loved that little rhino dish. I can't remember what the price was on it probably should have picked it up. I don't know. Do I have any rhino lovers? I know I have some elephant lovers. 
drop me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what is your favorite animal. Start trying to thrift more of those. Now, I saw a fresh cart, so I ran right over. At $5.99, I picked up that bag full of measuring spoons. Super cute. Now I'm on the hunt for some copper. I didn't find as much this day as I usually do. Almost grabbed this face, but I realized the inside was not copper. So for $7, it stayed behind. And I really wanted this basket, but it was almost $20. I got a good look at it though. Maybe I can figure out how to dupe it. We'll see. seen much while I was in the store but watching the footage back I wish I would have looked at those beautiful blue peonies and the like mauve roses oh well next time I spotted this cutting board it had some copper accents so I thought that was fun it was ten dollars so I passed and I really wanted this squirrel it was five dollars and the critters all seemed to be $4.99 which was sad Also decided to pass on the bunt pans. That sage green is like my best seller, but not for $7. I did score on these two candle snuffers. I've never seen the brass and wood combo, and I got two for five. These candlesticks are only a dollar in Topeka, so I left them here in Kansas City at five bucks a piece. I decided to check out the aisle with all the critters. It was more like people figurines this time. And the trend was four to five dollars on everything, which is just unfortunate because I can get the same kind of items for around one to two back here in town. Bookends would have been really fun with the paint job. I have got about 20 projects waiting for me to be flipped, so I'm trying to knock those out in the next couple of weeks before I buy a lot more that needs to be redone. I loved this cow set. I was wondering why one had a star on its forehead. Not a super huge haul from these two stores. I had to be pretty particular with what I was bringing home because of the pricing, but I did find some great farmhouse items for a good price and I am confident that they will be some good sellers. Now I will need to do a little more shopping this week. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what else you think I should be on the hunt for. I really do love the things I found. I think I'm going to end up keeping the black scale for my own kitchen and the mail holder for my mail but other than that everything else should be up on my haul this saturday at 10 a.m central standard time over on my channel and i will drop a link down below to my most recent thrift finds till next time see y'all later bye friends y'all please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and send this video over to a friend who loves thrifting as well i am so close to being monetized on this channel and i appreciate all of your support so much